Hello community! Today we compare two LLMs that are close to ChatGPT. At first, here on the left side, we have you.com. We have here a look at YouChat. And on the right side, we have Perplexity. And this is from perplexity.ai. Let's jump right into it. So we have our classical Jet GPT system. I divided it up in the chat part and in the GPT 3.5 part. This is our classical, from based on the transformer architecture, our decoder stack that was trained on some data set that ended in 2021. This is the actual Jet GPT structure. Now, currently we have systems that show us the outlook what will be the future of ChatGPT when we have ChatGPT4 here and the Bing research engine here. So here we go. We have our input text. Now our input text goes to a search engine, either Microsoft, Bing or Google search. It generates, of course, the results from the home pages the search engine returns. And those are then inputted in our GPT 3.5 system. Now, something has to give because we want to have a real-time answer or a near real-time answer. So we have here in those system not this beautiful chat part, but we have just returned kind of the raw data. Well, of course, this will be the main beauty when finally chat GPT comes to Microsoft products. And as always, if there's a development, you have a competitor. So we're going to have today a look at two systems that have a similar architecture, but the implementation I will show you is different. Now, the first system is by you.com and the second system is by Perplexity AI. Let's dive right into it. So the first question is, of course, hey, who are you? Is my vis-a-vis -vis self aware? And here we have, for example, with perplexity, that the question, who am I, is a common inquiry. Okay. While on the side of chat, we have here, I'm a U-Bot, an AI-powered language model designed to provide assistance with a wide range of tasks. I can help answer questions, provide explanation. Great. So next task is, hey, describe yourself. With perplexity, we get an answer that says, self-description is an act of describing oneself or talking about oneself. While on the you side, you have I'm Ubot, a powerful language model designed to provide assistance with a wide range of tasks. So you see, kind of self-awareness is more on the side of you.com. Next question. With what system am I interacting? And I have here a type mistake. So perplexity is going to tell us that I am interacting with an interactive operating systems. Well, OK, it doesn't understand I and you. While on the side of you.com, we have you are interacting with the U-Bot language model, which is designed to assist with a wide range of tasks. So you see, there is really a completely different understanding of the system itself. Next question, what are your limitations? Now, perplexity, we expect again a theoretical answer, and it is coming. The limitations of interactive operating system include noise pollution. Okay, yeah. And on the u.com side, we have my current limitations include understanding complex and abstract concepts, reasoning and problem solving and generating original responses from scratch. I would say, yeah, you.com has, has my, I would say, I would go to you.com for this particular part. Are you aware of yourself is another question. And we expect the answer from per per perplexity. Self-awareness in interactive operating systems refer to the ability of a computing system to recognize and understand its own state, yes. But the answer by you, yes, I'm aware of myself. I'm a language model designed to assist with a wide range of tasks and provide human-like responses to questions. Nice programming, nice training on this particular set of answers by you.com. So next question is, what is perplexity? Ask. 
because this was kind of a marketing slogan for perplexity, ask us. So let's see what perplexity itself comes up with. Calculating, calculating. Oh, perplexity is an interactive operating system is a measurement of how well a probability distribution... Okay, this is now the mathematical or the computer science use of perplexity, but not the AI system. And at u.com site, we have perplexity is a state of confusion or uncertainty, often in the face of a difficult problem or situation. Also, the theoretical answer. So I'm more precise in my next question. What is perplexity.ai, the homepage? And here now we get the answer by perplexity itself. Perplexity AI is an answer engine that delivers accurate answers to complex questions using large language model. And on u.com we have an AI platform that provides an easy to use interface for building, deploying, and managing machine learning models. Yes, 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 build machines. So you see both systems have the same architecture, but they provide completely different answers to us. Now, who is the CEO of perplexity.ai? And we know that Sri Venus was a research intern at OpenAI, DeepMind, and Google before he went to OpenAI as a research scientist for one year and then co-founded and is CEO of Perplexity AI. Now, you see here, u.com gives us a wrong answer. But, hey, this is a probability system. So, easy what we do. We just have to input more or less the same answer again with u.com. So who is the CEO of Perplexity AI? And here is now the right answer. So this is the interesting part of this, since this is not a defined system, but a probability system. Whenever you ask the system, you might get a little bit different answer, as just demonstrated here with this example. Beautiful. Who will be the next president of the United States of America? Now, this is something like we call a prediction. So, let's have a look here. Perplexity comes up with an answer that tells us it is too early to tell. Current potential candidates, President Trump, uh, DeSantis, Joe Biden, I don't know those people, I'm in Europe. And U.com tells us it's too early to tell the number of potential candidates who declared their candidacy the election is still over a year away. So, yes, point to both systems. Yeah, correct, true. I don't know this person. If you're living in the US, you might know if this is an answer that's okay for you. Next question. Let's tap into science. How far away is the next star? Proxima Centauri, yes, correct, is the closest star. Uh, and kilometers is a little bit okay. And u.com gives us... Uh, is 4.24 light years away. Yeah, we want an answer in light years, so we ask here perplexity, okay, hey, transform this answer in light years, please, because this is the standard scale if we talk about distances within our galaxy. And the response is, yeah, the closest star is 4.24 light years away, and this is the identical answer in both systems. This is great. So, next task. Now, I want to show you where the chat part is missing. So let's do something where we need the chat part of chat GPT, but we do not have it. So write an essay about human interactions in the style of Winston Churchill. This is now where the template structure or the neural network trained connectivity uh, connectome of chat GPT shines. Since it's missing here, we will get a different answer. But look, even those answers are different in itself. Perplexity tells us he was a renowned leader and statement who wrote, yes, he was also known for his skillful use of rhetoric and language. Five lines, while you.com gives us really an essay. Also, it is not something that is in the form of Winston Churchill, but it is more about Winston Churchill and his particular tasks. But I would say another point goes to chat at u.com chat here, because this is really an essay I would use. As you see, both systems with the same architecture and with the same components deliver completely different results, of course also depending upon the probability distribution of the generative AI system in itself. But it is always good to have an alternative system, try both systems, play around with them, 
Hey, and I would be interested in your feedback. Thank you for listening and I see you in my next video.